hit the wrong button. Let's just do that. I want to see, let me increase the size of the of the window here. There. <coughs> I hope you're enjoying the show guys because I'm loving doing it. I can't believe we're seeing it so easily tonight. It's just marvelous. Hey Jack, how you doing Jack? Happy Christmas to you and your family and uh, hope you have a wonderful New Year. How's your wife's health? I know she had an operation before I went away on holiday and she was recovering. How's it going? Hey Jack, what are we looking at here this evening? Uh, that's fantastic, eh? Yeah, the, the my wife had the shoulder surgery, arthroscopic sh surgery and shoulder reconstruction and it was one of the most painful things she ever had to recover from in her life, eh? It was so sore because when the doctor shaves the underside of the chromium, he nibbles away at the bone and it is immense pain. Imagine like a... a um, Someone has just nibbled away the bone. It's so painful. Oh, man. Oh, staples. Oh, man. Just tell her I, I wish her well and, and I hope it comes right. But the, the, the amazing thing when, you, when you're rehabilitating a shoulder is you have to um, really try and push up to the limit of what you can manage. You, you, you really got to, I, I do martial arts uh, and my uh, martial arts instructor, he used to come and train us um, and he had just had his operation like a week ago and he used to have tears in his eyes but he recovered quite quickly. So and when she's able to push up to the pain, she must push up to the pain, not through the pain but up to the pain and you'll see she'll recover very quickly. Eh? Okay, wow, wow. Okay, here we go. 180 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, just look at this. In another galaxy, we're looking at a super bubble and massive, this is N57A, which is a super bubble, 2014, okay? In another galaxy, right, we're looking at 2014, the super bubble 2014, and we're looking at NGC 2020, which is an ordinary bubble, very similar to the bubble nebula, but remember that the scales are different. So this bubble neb nebula is about 10 parsecs, which is about 30 light years wide, 300 trillion kilometers. What mag is 2020? Sure. Um, mag 2020 is... I can't, I can't tell you what mag it is, it is because it's unseeable. unseeable. Um, Richard, Richard, you can't see, see 2020. 2020. It's unseeable. The only way I can see it is using this very, very sensitive camera, which is the Melancam XView HAD chip. And we're integrating three minutes in hydrogen alpha. There's no mag here. If, if anything, it's like mag 40 or something. You can't see it with the naked eye. It's impossible. It's impossible. So let's go back to this here. This is for me the finest picture I've ever taken. Telling you now. This is the finest picture I've ever taken. And this is Paul Hayes's picture and you can see we're looking at open clusters here in another galaxy guys and this super bubble over here is the summation wave of massive amounts 
of these wolf rayet stars, these OB stars, plowing out prodigious amounts of wind, expelling their energy out, and these forms all come because of the magnetism in the area and the gravo turbulence and everything spinning, and this is what we see millions and millions of kilometers, trillions of kilometers. This area from side to side here is about 20 parsecs, which as I said to you just now is 60 light years or about 600 trillion kilometers. Incredible. I, I cannot even believe that we are seeing this image. It's just too much for my brain to imagine. Just too much for my brain to imagine, guys. This is really an incredible shot. I really am terribly excited with this shot. So, and we're going to carry on looking for more shots. So let's carry on. We'll just do it. Just let me take a lovely screenshot of this. Right, let's go and look for some more incredible sights. As I said to you, Paul Hayes' incredible picture of 41 hours, looking at the super bubble that is N51D. This whole area is called N51D. So now we're looking at, we've, we started off looking at the dragon eye, supernova remnant, right at the top. So this was the soup, the dragon's eye that we saw, right? Then we came to NGC 2020, which is this over here, and we saw the incredible filaments and structures of the super bubble, which is called 2014. These are my uh, um, writings on uh, Paul's brilliant photograph. Okay. Now we're going to try and look at NGC 1968. Okay, let's try and see if we can see NGC 1968. That looks pretty bright. That really looks like something quite interesting. Uh, I don't know what that looks like. Looks like something from a Halloween film or something. But let's give it a go, guys. This is the best that I have ever done. And I tell you what, this Melancam XUHAD camera is really doing the business tonight it really really is doing so well so let's go to NGC 1968 Okay, okay, Meg Nine, eh? Thanks, Jack. Thanks, Jack. I think you, I could, think see you could see the stars. Oh, Meg Nine, Jack. Jack the but nebula the nebula is is so is faint. So faint. I, never I never saw it, saw it um, any with any 
with uh, any um, um, eyepiece ever what we're looking at now. I've, I've, I've seen the, the, the tarantula nebula with the eyepiece but not to not this detail. detail. It's too far. It's too far. And to and to see that kind of detail, I mean, I don't think your eye can take 180 seconds of, uh, of uh, well certainly you wouldn't see the HA, so you might see a bit of the optical light. Uh, it, is, it is after all quite, um, quite a hot area, so you'll see a little bit of the, the, the structure, but not, uh, I don't think like what we're doing now. I'm really enjoying this, guys. Let's see, let's see. We, wait we wait another 100 seconds or so. So we're looking, so we're looking now, now for NGC 1968. Okay. So we're looking for this picture over here. Ugly picture. Looks like a nightmare. Hopefully no children watching this show because if I had to wake up dreaming of such a thing like this, it looks like one of those fishes deep in the ocean. It really doesn't look like something I'd like to look at. Yeah, I do, um, Jack. This is a, a wonderful camera and I've, I've had a lot of pleasure with it. In fact, since I used it, Jack, I haven't even used my Color X2. I've never ever switched it on even. Um, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. It's, it's been terrific. It's been terrific. So what we're looking at over here are super bubbles in another galaxy. And um, we're now aiming for NGC 1968. And hopefully we are pointing in the right place. Uh, that's a picture of the, of, of the dragon's eye that we saw earlier on. Let's just see the super giant shells over here. Pretty Doradus. So There's so much cool, cool information that, that exists, you but you have to decipher it. Look at that. Look at that, Look at that guys. We're a little bit high. Wow. wow. Now, 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 now we must just find out what are we looking at. Let's just see Let's what, just see what are we looking at here. I think I think we are here. I don't know where we are. You can see the arc at the top. This arc here. This arc here. This arc here. Yeah, Jack, you're right. Yeah, this is it. You're right. We're seeing this arc over here. Okay. Okay. So is this angle here over here? Could be it. One Bright one in 1968. The arc above the, the, arc above the end. Oh. 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 Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Like a puppy. Like a puppy. Looks like a little, Looks puppy, like a little puppy dog. This year. This year. Think you're right, Jack. Think you're right, Jack. You are right. You are right, Jack. You're right, Jack. You're right, Jack. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect, Jack. Perfect, Jack. That's exactly, That's what, exactly we're what we're looking at. This over this here, over this, here, bubble this, here bubble is this bubble here, is this here. bubble over here. Correct, Jack. Correct, Jack. 
and this over here is this beautiful 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 thanks Jack wow wow man Jack Jack that is absolutely awesome man man very 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 cool Wow. Wow. I'm glad I could uh, add to the uh, broadcast. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Wow. Wow. Why did that jump like that? Oh, that's because oh, it came to the end of the worm gear. And then it just, and jumps, then it just like jumps like that. Damn. Wow. That is incredible, that is incredible Jack. Jack. So, we look so we're looking at these incredible dense shells, dense shells which have been blasted like they are, like they are because of the low density, the low density hot gas, gas that exists around, the around this region. region. So just to so recap, we've got, we've got these super giant shells. shells. Okay. Okay, so if we look so at this, look at yeah, this here, let's go let's just go to back to it here. Yeah. We, we look at this picture, picture we've, got we've got a super giant, giant shell. Okay, this is, okay, this is new stuff, new stuff for you guys. I've been doing a lot of homework over the holiday period. This is called a super giant shell. And this particular super giant shell is called N51D. Right? It's really big. Right? And inside, and inside the super, the super giant, giant shell, shell right, you've got, you've got super, bubbles, super bubbles, right, right? And, these and these areas here, areas here this, is a, this is a super bubble. That, that is, a is a super bubble. Because they are, because they are summation waves, waves from lots, from lots and lots of OB, of OB stars all going off at the same time. So, so the tarantula, tarantula nebula, nebula is a super bubble, right? right? The, whole the whole nebula, nebula of, the, of, the, of the tarantula is a super giant shell. shell. The but the circles inside, inside the tarantula nebula, nebula let's just go and find them. So I, so I can show you what we're looking at again. We go back, we go back to... So this, so this whole region here, right, right is, a, is super a super giant shell. Okay. okay. The whole region, the whole region is, is a super giant shell, made up, made up super of bubbles. super bubbles. One, One two, two, three, three, four. four. Okay. Okay. And inside, and inside the, the super bubbles, bubbles if we had to go deep inside, we have, we ordinary, have bubbles, ordinary bubbles, smaller bubbles. Smaller bubbles. That's, what's going, That's what's going on here. So they're on, so they're on scales different scales all the time, all the time the but the thing. same thing. Okay. okay? So, so when, we look, when we look at this, this, this big area, area super is a giant super shell. giant shell and made up, made up of, super of super bubbles and the super and bubbles, the super bubbles are, made are made up of originally, originally start off as ordinary different bubbles, different bubbles. bubbles so bubbles become super bubbles it's just, it's just a, little a little bit, bit. we just must angle it a little, little bit, bit. No, I, no, I angled it the wrong way. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call this the puppy. I think that's what, it, think looks that's what like. it looks like. It looks like a little puppy.
Puppy Dog Nebula. Puppy Dog Nebula. Oh man. oh man. Doesn't that look, Doesn't that look beautiful? So what, we so what here we're having here is super bubbles, super bubbles blown, by blown by massively uh, fast stellar, stellar winds, guys. And supernova, and supernova explosions going off all the time from groups, from groups of massive stars in the region. And these bubbles, and these bubbles go up to 10 parsecs, but the super, but the bubbles, super bubbles go up to hundreds of parsecs. It's quite incredible, and they they blown wide by the very fast winds from indivi individual massive stars. So what we're seeing over here, these pictures, right, are individual stars blowing massive amounts of winds, and sometimes the winds superimpose on each other, rather like uh, tides in the sea. And you have these streams of charged particles combining with occasional supernova blasts that have all hollowed out these bubbles in this gaseous region of the sky. It's so incredible. The gas in the region is shocked and compressed and we see these beautiful filaments and sheets being produced like we see in the Ita Carina Nebula like we see in the um, in the um, uh, Lagoon Nebula like we see in uh, um, the pillars of creation etc actually incredible so we have these OB stars right that are so bright and they are so close that the wind from the wolf rayed stars merge and they we create these giant bubbles called super bubbles it's incredible it's just beautiful let's try let's try hold on jack A black jack. Brighter or, 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 or darker? You want it brighter or, or darker? I want to see if I can do this. Oh, it's better here. Oh, it's better here. Yep. Yep. Absolutely, Absolutely amazing. amazing. That's for sure. That's for sure. Just want to take, want another, to take shot another shot of this. And uh, then we can move off, move on to the next site. Uh, I just, I just cannot believe how I'm enjoying this. Really, is so amazing. So we'll call, so call this the puppy nebula because it looks like a little puppy.
Okay, so let's, okay, go, so let's go and see what else we can f find here. This really looks nice. very nice, what under the is under the puppy, 1955. So, so the puppy, the puppy if we look at it, got has got the super bubble with the summation wins. wins, okay? But then we can really see a much bigger area. This is called N51. When you're looking at um, this incredible region, so you can just imagine what's going on in here. So let's go to NGC 1955. Just below the puppy. This will be the uh, next objects 1955. Magnitude 9, size unknown, another diffuse nebula. Let's see what Dr. Day was able to pull out. So we now look so we're now looking for NGC 1955, just below the puppy. So let's start the integration again. When you look at, when you look at different these different pictures, right, you, you are seeing, are seeing different, different you're seeing different, you're seeing different in, surface in surface brightness, right, between, between the different sections of the images, right. Some, some dark, is dark gray, some, gray, some gray, is light gray, some is... Some is um, Lighter, some, Lighter is some is darker, some is, some is uh, uh, heavier, heavier some, is some is thin, and, and what is happening, what is happening over here you is have you have this bubble expanding into the interstitial gas, gas that is this giant molecular cloud, cloud right? And the, and the difference in, density in densities of the surrounding gas, gas that these bubbles, that these bubbles expand into. Okay, because it's not all a homogeneous medium. So the difference in densities where the super bubble expands into creates these incredible shapes that we see. Like a snow plow sweeping up the cold material as it uh, clears away the snow out of your driveways and stuff like this. And one of the astronomers that is amazing that I, I read a lot of his work right is a guy called Scott Balfour I love I love his theories and I love his considerations of what's going on in these bubbles and these super bubbles and etc and um, he had an incredible um, uh, video that he made available which I managed to find on YouTube and I'd like to show it to you guys uh, about what's going on in these areas why we get the shapes that we are seeing so let's just um, let's just wait a few more seconds hopefully we can see this picture of NGC 1955 remember my telescope points it to where it should be but because there's a slight offset, I'm having to modify it by trial and error. So hopefully we'll see this um, NGC 1955 or anything like it. I will be happy with. And then once we got the image, we can try and just recenter it a little bit. But I'm very happy with this. Yeah, tricky. Yeah, tricky. There we go. There we go. So this, I can see what we're seeing here. This is what we're seeing. We're seeing the top part of the bubble. I would have liked the bubble to go a little bit higher. We're seeing this section here. And 
this bar. In this bar. And this and this summation, wave. summation waves. Oh, this is just this is just too much. Eh? I can't believe this. Wow. Wow. Just to look at just shapes. Look normally, at shapes. normally we want to would have just shape, looked at the shape, but because, because so there are so many fantastic high resolution images on the net, and I always am very careful to to give the credit where credit's due. And, and Paul's picture has really helped me work, uh, you know, in this area because otherwise you see these shapes and you just think, oh well, it's a cloud in our sky or something. But you can really play and mess around with the pictures and stuff until you can really see what's going on here. It's, it's just Jack fantastic. Yo, um, Jack, yo, um, Pretoria, they do change street names. Um, I wonder if you can speak to your clients. I'll tell you what, I, I've got no problem. If you, if you want, you can tell him you, you know of me. If and he if he wants to, that will be saved. The, the problem in South Africa at the moment is, I think you, I think you should send it by courier straight to his house. Forget about, uh, Forget about uh, changing street names. That, he, be that should be delivered straight, straight to the house because we had a postal strike recently for four months, and uh, I wouldn't uh, take a chance on on that. And they are changing their names uh, at the moment, so. Um, Gotta yeah, careful. you've got to be you've careful. Got to be careful. Eh? You've got to be careful. Let's just see, Let's just see if we can... Up. So we went up. Let's see if we can just go up and to the right. So I'm just going to go up, up and to the right. Hope that will work. Man, I shouldn't have done that at that point. Just yeah, it's not. It's yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not very good. It's not um, very good. But, um, but if you if you courier, using a courier, courier just, just tell him he's going to have to pay a little bit more, pay for, little bit more for the courier service because you don't want to go and mess around with an expensive getting camera getting lost. You don't. Yeah, I think you saw that, yeah, Richard, I think you saw that, Richard. Uh, but uh, this is miles away in... Um, I'm, not sure I'm not sure if we... Probably we probably some are seeing some stars, but, uh, they, would but uh, they would have to be very big stars to, 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 be, to be seen. Remember, we're, in a, we're looking in another galaxy this whole evening tonight. It's been quite incredible. Um, but perhaps after this shot now, we can go and look at, more, can simple and look at more simple like things in like in our own Milky Way and hopefully we can see perhaps we can go and look at the our own wonderful Eta Carina which should be coming up pretty soon I uh, just want to see if it is coming up yet Yeah, uh, Ida Karina is still a little bit, it's a little bit early for Ida Karina still, we may, may but we may, may just see it. I want to show you this, I want to show you this wonderful picture of, uh, picture of um, Scott, uh, Scott uh, Balfour's, uh, Balfour's uh, simulation, simulation of, these of how these come images come to be. So as I was saying, so you, have saying an you have an... Star a star, which is a Wolf Rayet star, star, is a Wolf star blasting out, blasting out amounts huge amounts of winds to make a bubble. To make okay. a bubble. Okay. And then, and then inside the bubble, inside or, the bubble or, or several bubbles, eventually we will have, we will supernova have a supernova going off, which will, which will holes knock in holes in the bubble as the massive speed of the supernova comes up to the extremely hot ionized bubble, the outside of the bubble, and it eventually that energy just bursts the bubble on multiple fronts. So I want to show you this very cool video if you'd like to see it. Hi Michelin. Hi Michelin. Ha 
got it. Aha, got it. Ah. <laughs> How's that? Stick. Stick. Hey! Hey! Just look at that! Just look at that. Just, just marvelous! Let's just push this, over a, just push like this over a little bit like that. Wow! Wow! Man! Man! I love this camera, Jack. I love this camera, Jack. This is marvelous stuff. This is marvelous stuff. Guys. Colors Guys, nice, colors nice, cameras. but the mono cameras they give you a lot of detail too. Eh? It's just special. Eh? Do we? Do we? Gee whiz! It is unbelievable. It is unbelievable. Just is unbelievable. Just is unbelievable. So we have huge. Cavities. So we have these huge cavities, right? The temperature which the temperature inside here are millions of Kelvin, compared, compared to the original, compared giant, to the original giant, giant molecular cloud gas, which is almost like a perfect right? vacuum here on Earth, a right? A giant molecular cloud has got Kelvin of about these 30. Have these of have millions of degrees. degrees of a million degrees so Kelvin, right? They are so hot and the expanding pressure eventually the bursts the bubble, the bubble on various fronts. So now I'm going to show you that video that uh, I found on the net. Check this out guys, it's beautiful. Here we go, movie time, guys. Here we go, movie time, guys. So what we're going to do here is we have a bubble a bubble that has been created by Wolf Ray at Star. Okay, and it has blown out the wind to make a hot ionized front, like a perfect circle. Okay, and then we let it go a little bit more. Watch the supernova on the inside expand up to the size of the bubble. But now remember that the supernova is millions of degrees of Kelvin hot. So the heat is immense, the energy is immense. Right, now watch this. As it goes bigger, do you notice that the over time the bubble has actually contracted okay this is more to do with the actual physics of what's going on over time a bubble can either expand and go on forever or can expand and contract or expand and go down to nothing but they have found that it expands and then it contracts a little bit over time because they've had a look at bubbles and then they've checked them years later with the Hubble and they've noticed that the bubbles don't carry on expanding and expanding forever they just come down and they, st they stop at a certain point and contract right now watch watch it contracting but the supernova is still going out now the supernova has hit the outside of the bubble watch what happens now you see the bubble starts to burst you see the bubble starts to burst and you get these little 
bumps on on it and okay it's pressing more and more and, the and it's pressing the more and more and the outside hot. of the bubble gets it's extremely glowing. hot you can see it's almost glowing the as the energy apart. now is bursting the bubble apart and right it's bursting more and more and more and can it's bursting, bursting more and more and more and now can you imagine this bursting going on like and now it starts steaming out like outside a pressure and cooker and when your wife's cooking like uh, uh, a meat or something like that and it's, and it's going and it's bursting out and can you imagine what's going on there right more and, more and now it starts bursting out more and more and more going crazy. check it's bursting going, going crazy, crazy. And look at the shape that it's going crazy to and, and look at the shapes that we're starting to get when we look isn't that incredible because when we look at the shapes that are on the image you can you see can these type of shapes on the screen so that is just incredible. So I'll play it from the beginning without commentary. And that's how you get these incredible shapes. Now and that's how you get these incredible in shapes. Now imagine in an area where there are 500,000 stars, stars, in an open cluster, or 100,000 stars. This is happening all the time. And there is wind going off, and magnetic forces going off, and gravity turbulence going off, and radiation pressure outwards, and gravity pulling inwards, and it's just something radical that's going on. Cool stuff. I love it. So there we see the bubble. So there we and see I'm the bubble. Grab, and I'm just going to take a screen grab, and we can come back to fight another day over here. But I love this. So the expanding pressure eventually bursts So the out. expanding pressure so eventually bursts out the circle that was there lovely, lovely. and we get these lovely lovely, lovely filaments. pictures That's forming the and these lovely filaments Just happening all over the place. Just something too fantastic to believe. I agree with you Richard. Too much for the mind the to, uh, to, to grasp and, and you get the loops and, and bubbles and filaments and, and when the, the supernovas go off can you just imagine the forces the going off in there the I mean the expansion of the super bubble I mean they, they combine they make if there are enough super so bubbles they become super shells there is so much wattage going off inside over there they cranking out ultraviolet energy in radiation if you think about it the wind from our Sun sometimes when we have a hot Sun and there's a solar flare and you say ha oh, that must be a X-class flare going off and you feel it on the back of your neck as you're walking in summer or wherever you are and you feel wow the Sun's hot today and that's the Sun's solar wind and you know how that feels it's like something's blowing on you as the photons and as the um, neutrinos hit you, you can feel the energy, the heat from the sun's rays, and it feels great, right? And that's one, one solar wind, right? But when you get a stars which are 45 times the size of the sun, right? We don't talk about solar winds in the terms of how our sun's solar wind is. The wind from a 45 mass 
solar, uh, um, uh, 45 solar mass star, right, is a nearly a billion times stronger than our sun's solar wind. A nearly a billion times stronger. A thousand million solar winds. And that's just one star which has got a mass of 45. Now there are stars up there. We looked at the Tarantula Nebula earlier on. In R136, there are stars in R136 that are more than 150 solar masses. Can you just imagine how much wind is going on over there? How much force is going on. I would do anything to watch from a from from afar and we are watching from afar but can you imagine to be a little bit close that must be insane and I love kite surfing and can you imagine kite surfing on on winds that are like a million kilometers an hour that that's too much for your mind to, to grasp that's that's insane stuff anyway let's go and look at some local stuff now because my, my brain can't deal with this excitement anymore. Let's see what...